Last year's national defense budget um, was over $6 billion, and the average college tuition was over $9,000. Now, these two figures may seem like they're not related, um, but I think they can be, in a way. So, I think um, that we can end the problem of high college tuition by cutting from the de national defense budget. Um, that the problem of high college tuition uh, should not be foreign to most of y'all, since you've been either directly or indirectly affected by it, either going to college or sending children to college. It affects mostly every American who wants higher, uh, who wants higher education. So, according to a CNBC News article, the average school tuition for public four-year colleges in 2013 was over $9,000. In 1971, it cost less than $500. So over 40 years, it's gone up exponentially. Um, literally every college student faces this problem because they have to pay for, for college. Um, if they can pay out of pocket, that's good for them with their family or working multiple jobs. Um, if not, uh, more than likely they have to acquire student debt through student loans. Now, um, I'm not going to talk about student debt in detail, but it is a, a main effect of um, high college tuition. It doesn't cause anything, but it, it hangs over the heads of mostly every college student. Um, so students who can't afford college usually acquire student loans. Um, again, debt doesn't cause this problem, but it's a main effect of it. Um, now that I discussed the problem, of high college tuition, let's look at uh, the cost, the main cost. According to a U.S. news article, spending for administration, support, and maintenance was roughly $4,000 per student per year for the last several years, which is at 13% from 1995. Now this is outside the classroom, it has nothing to do with professors, um, research, electronics. This is just pretty much basically stuff they don't need. Now, um, in this, there's counselors, administrators, and advisors, but they're just adding to it to what was already there. It's basically unnecessary. Now, another $1,200 per student was spent on counseling. Again, counseling is needed, but it's not as important as inside the classroom, learning, helping people get degrees. Um, now, these numbers are likely to increase because this was a couple years ago. The next several years, and nothing's done if the rates keep continuing as they have been. So over the last five years, the rate of college administrators has risen over 200%. Again, these aren't necessary positions, and they're just, they're just making, some of them are making seven-figure seven salaries, which is a waste of money. So now that we looked at some causes, I will offer a solution to this problem. Now, Talking about the defense budget could be a touchy subject simply because, you know, nationalism, patriotism, people want to feel safe. I understand that, but it's $6 billion, and that's half of the national budget in all. So if there's one place you can take from it, it will be the defense budget. Um, so by cutting half, that would leave $300 billion left to use. So... That could drastically lower college tuition or even make it free. And you can keep your, those positions, the administrators, the maintenance crews, whatever you want. You can still keep that. Just, you, could, you can even have more if you like. But, and it's still lower college tuition. So I believe the country should look into using that money cut uh, to invest in the future instead of investing in the U.S. war machine. So the defense budget accounts for half, like I said, the total... Um, budget of the country and um, like I said earlier the place they can take is from that so it's not easy paying for college these days simply because um, college tuition is at all time high and uh, we've pretty much all been through it either getting jobs in the summer working full time and going to school full time it's tough so by cutting from the defense budget taking $300 billion, putting it into higher education, we all win in the end. So in the end, um, I think more people should get educated on this. 
to know where the money goes, who's making what, and then um, come from the defense budget. And if we all look into it, uh, I think we can, we can get some movement and gather traction, uh, the more people that know about it.